Hi, I'm Simon Marsh from Yorkshire Wildlife Park and I'm here today to prepare to move Victor the polar bear to the wildlife park. I'm here with Dorina, who's the polar bear keeper. And uh, Dorina, how's, he, how's, he, how's the training been going and preparing him for the move? Uh, it's going very well. We uh, train him uh, to come into the to create voluntary. So um, yeah, he's doing very well, yeah. Excellent. And do you think he's, he's, he's ready to be moved to Yorkshire Wildlife Park? Yeah, I guess he is, yeah. He, uh, he comes into the crate with the, with the core of his paws and uh, is really relaxed. Uh, he's, he's taking the fish and uh, he's really calm, so I think he's ready, yeah. So the keepers here at Renan have just gone off to prepare Victor and the crate to load him into it and shut the doors so we can transport him to Yorkshire Wildlife Park. Okay, so they've, they've got Victor in the crate and he's, he's, they're saying he's very calm, which is excellent. We're just going to go in and have a look, make sure everything's okay. And um, so if we can keep the volume down, I'll keep talking. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just keep nice and calm so we don't startle him. Okay, so I think Victor knows he's not coming back out of the crate now. So you can hear there's a bit of banging, but he seems fairly relaxed still. They're just undoing all the bolts that secured the crate to the ground, because obviously the crate could not move an inch while they were getting him in there for, for safety reasons. And once they've unbolted the crate, they'll put the sheet over and it'll be nice and dark and he should relax even more then. Once it's nice and dark and he feels like he's like cosy in the crate, um, he'll, he'll probably, hopefully, he'll go to sleep for the majority of the journey. So Victor's coming out of the house now. It's, uh, it's probably about a tonne, this whole, him and the crate together, so it takes a quite a bit of moving, um, but it's coming out nice and slowly. Victor still seems very relaxed, which is good. Um, obviously, he's not completely happy being in the crate, but he's not stressed. Now Victor's out of the house, we're going to load him onto this trailer so we can safely take him through the zoo before loading him onto the lorry. You really can appreciate how big a male polar bear is when you see him this close up and in a crate. The size of the crate to contain him, everything about it is just massive. So here's Victor coming through the zoo now. As you can see, the zoo's very busy. Um, so it's a little bit of negotiating, but it's going very smoothly. So Victor's about to be put onto the lorry to make his way over to Yorkshire Wildlife Park. Obviously, once he's on the lorry, we'll still make sure he's nice and calm and relaxed. We'll make sure the crate's very secure inside the lorry. Uh, and once everything's in place, they can head off towards the, the ferry port and over to, to the England and Yorkshire Wildlife Park. This really is a, a monumentous occasion for, for Yorkshire Wildlife Park. This is our first polar bear and the first polar bear to come to, to England for, for a, at least a decade. So it's, it's a huge deal for us and for, and for people of Yorkshire, Doncaster um, and England. So Victor's been at Renan for quite a few years now and he's been very successful at producing lots of cubs which is great for the European breeding programme but at some point to keep the gene pool healthy you have to move males and females around now because Victor has been so successful at breeding he's coming to Yorkshire Wildlife Park as sort of his retirement home from the breeding programme. Uh, every polar bear within Europe within the, the Arza it's part of a breeding programme, but not all animals can breed all the time. So yeah, Victor and, and hopefully some more polar bears in the future and some rescued polar bears will come to Yorkshire Wildlife Park.
So Victor's arrived at Yorkshire Wildlife Park. The uh, the 12 hour journey from Renan Zoo on the ferry to Hull and then to here is over. In the next few minutes we'll have him unloaded and in his new home at Yorkshire Wildlife Park. This is a, quite a monumentous occasion, it's fantastic. And he's still very calm as well, which is excellent. Um, obviously he's getting a little bit sick of being in the crate now. Um, but within the next few minutes we'll have him out um, and he can relax and, uh, and settle in. So Victor's here, first polar bear for Yorkshire Wildlife Park and the first polar bear in England for 10 or so years. So it really is a, 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 a massive deal for, for us. You know, five years ago we had a few goat sheep, you know, it's a very small collection. And after years of planning and months of preparation, we finally got our first polar bear. And, and Victor seems to be quite happy and relaxed in his new home, which is fantastic. So we'll give him a few days to settle in, get used to us, get used to his new home, and then we'll get him into his, his new enclosure. He'd been here now for, for three or four hours. We unloaded him from his crate. He was very calm coming out of his crate. He's been in the house, he's explored the house. The staff that are going to be looking after him have been working with Dorina, the, the keeper from Renan Zoo that's come along with him. So he's, he's, he seems very relaxed, very calm. Like I say, he's explored the whole house now. He knows his ways in and out. Um, so now we're going to let him out into the, the, the isolation yard, like the temporary holding area we've got for the polar bears. Now this area is purely just to hold them for short periods of time, either when they first arrive, just so we can make sure everything's okay and they're used to us, used to the area. There's no veterinary issues. And then as soon as he's got used to this area, then we can let him into his main enclosure, which will be where he'll live pretty much all the time, 24 hours of the day, seven days a week. The only time we'll get him back into this house is for, for husbandry training, medical issues, if the keepers need to get into the reserve to, to clean it or to put food out for him. So this, this area, it looks very all metal, and, and, but it needs to be, to be, it needs to be very secure. Um, but it is a temporary holding area. So in this reserve, we've got a lake, got a large lake, about a third of the enclosure is made up of this water body here. So, and it's about eight meters deep in the middle, so he can go and swim, he can completely submerge himself. And he's got rocks in the middle that he can climb out on, um, just like he would in the wild. He'd swim across lakes or open bodies of, of sea to, to reach other parts of, of land or sea ice. Uh, we've got caves in the back there which are buried into the bank, so they're nice and cool for him to go and get shade and rest in. Um, uh, and the rest of the rock work is basically features to create uh, a summer tundra. So you can imagine the Arctic tundra, when it's covered in snow and ice, basically every, all the features have disappeared. It's just a, a mass of snow and ice. So we've recreated what it'd look like in the summer months. Um, so we've got the silver birches, we've got conifers, we've got heathers. Uh, we've got wildflower seeds, so we're creating this really interesting complex environment for Victor and any other polar bears that we bring into Yorkshire Wildlife Park. And, and we're basically recreating their home here. Like I say, it's one of the biggest polar bear reserves in the world. And, and the whole point of this is to give them the, the best welfare we possibly can. So within the European breeding programme for polar bears, we can hold the polar bears here and they're happy 
and they're contented and they've got everything they need. We've got all the husbandry in place. We've got a nice big enclosure so they can wander. And they're, they're, they're obviously in the wild, they range huge distances. It's very hard to replicate that, but we try and replicate it as much as possible, create a complex environment. And, and hopefully we can show that, that polar bears can be kept well in captivity. That's the whole point of the Yorkshire Wildlife Park is to, to improve and increase animal welfare. And hopefully we can also bring in some polar bears from outside of Europe that are in substandard conditions, possibly in areas in the tropics where it's completely unnatural to keep polar bears. If we can rescue those bears, bring them here and give them a good home, we get winters, so they will experience snow and ice. They'll experience the summer seasons exactly like they would in the wild. And hopefully we can create a really good home for polar bears. So here at Yorkshire Wildlife Park, this is the big opening day. A Victor's going to come out into his new reserve. We've got all the media here from all over the country to see him coming out into his new reserve. And uh, I think he's just on his way out now. So this is a, a very special day. So they've just let Victor out. He's just uh, having a few little snacks there. That's probably some chunks of beef uh, that the keepers have given him, just to encourage him out. Because obviously with all the media here, we wanted to make sure he did come out into his, his new home. And now he's, uh, he's just going to start exploring. Still seems very relaxed after everything that's happened. Moving from his old home at Renan Zoo all the way over on that ferry. 12 hour journey in a crate. He seems very relaxed, which is excellent. 18th of August 2014 is going to go down in history that England has a polar bear again after about 10 years. And, and the whole point of, of what Yorkshire Wildlife Park does and, and, and the whole point of Project Polar is to, is to prove that we can look after polar bears well in captivity. So now Victor's out in his new reserve, he's really starting to explore his new home. Obviously everything's just mind-blowing for him. He's got such a powerful sense of smell. You can imagine being going somewhere completely new. Everything he's taken in is just, it's, everything's just brand new. So he's exploring, he's checking out all his, his, his caves that he can go into. He's checking out the, the edge of the lake. He's going up the banks. He's looking for the food that the keepers have put out there for him, because obviously keeping him stimulated, looking for food like he would in the wild. He's, he's constantly on the move for foraging for food. So they're putting the food all over the enclosure, so he has to find using his sense of smell. And yeah, and he's just, uh, he's just having fun exploring his new home. 10,000 square metre reserve, one of the biggest in the world, and he's out and he's enjoying it. And he seems very calm and relaxed, which is excellent. You know, we, we, we obviously polar bears is quite a contentious issue. You know, historically they've been kept in very small concrete pits. So that's why there's been no polar bears in, in England for at least 10 years. And public opinion, rightly so, said, you know, we're not happy with the way polar bears are kept. So at Yorkshire Wildlife Park, we had a real long think, a big debate about it. We've been planning it for years and we decided that we could do it right. We knew how to do it. There's a, a few other places like up in the Highland Wildlife Park in Scotland that, have, that keep polar bears very well. And we thought, right, we're very confident that we can do it. We can help with the breeding programme in, in European zoos. We can take males that are no longer required because like Victor here, he's, he's had 10 cubs over the years, very good breeder. Genetic diversity is really important in the breeding programme. So we don't want to over represent any particular male or female. So Victor's come here as a bit of a retirement home. We knew we could keep him well. We knew the welfare was very high here at Yorkshire Wildlife Park. And he seems to be very relaxed and enjoying it. We've got research students monitoring Victor, uh, doing behavioral studies, just to make sure that we know that Victor is behaving as normally as he possibly can uh, in, in a very natural environment. So, Time will tell, but we're very confident and Victor seems very happy to be here. So now Project Polar's open to the visitors at Yorkshire Wildlife Park and Victor's still relaxed. He's still wandering around, exploring his new home here. 
and the visitors seem to be enjoying it. It's uh, the first polar bear in England for 10 years and obviously the first polar bear at Yorkshire Wildlife Park. So the visitors here are very lucky and very privileged to see a big male polar bear at the park. It's, uh, it's quite a fantastic time.